Hey, welcome back to Sap Science. I've got lots of things to test based on your suggestions, but first I need to get all these behemoth suggestions out of the way. Everyone seems to want to break the behemoth to get its stats onto other pets, so here's what people ask me to try. Behemoth transforming with Water of Youth or Compedo caps stats at 50-50. Behemoth with Frog works the same way, only giving pets 50-50. With a Basilisk, you can turn a Behemoth into a rock, but the rock is also capped at 50-50. A butterfly on the enemy team is, you guessed it, capped at 50-50. Now what does work is Parrot behind Behemoth, which during battle can be given over 50-15 stats. This was actually broken, but fixed in the newest patch. However, these stats can't be kept out of battle. You can also get behemoths in the shop up to 100-100 stats, which, while still a behemoth, is pretty cool. Moving on from behemoths, someone asked if Tiger works with Basilisk to turn multiple pets into rocks. But no, it's just the same rock. Continuing with rocks, someone asked if you can permanently scale them with something like Skeleton Dog, but the stats do not persist. Not everything doesn't work, though, as Maris Laris, a very kind contributor to my random pack project, pointed out a bug in one of my recent videos where Panther takes more damage from Crisp due to its own ability. Speaking of previous videos, someone asked if Whale Shark can keep a melon from a crane, however, it unfortunately can't. Another thing someone theorized that wins the award for being the coolest is how Parrot works with Beluga. With a fox, you can trigger Parrot after it's copied the ability, and Parrot will summon in battle. However, the contains pet text persists after battle, and while it can't summon without the ability, it doesn't need to eat something every round in order to work, which is super cool to have something persist from a parrot's ability. One thing that has been known but is worth showing off is this infinite that can be made with Egyptian vultures and tapir, which can go until the max attack limit within a battle, which is 40. Someone else asked on the SAP Discord how Phoenix works with Blueberry and Donut since it targets both friendly and unfriendly units. This works as expected, giving Donut friends crisp and Blueberry enemies crisp. Not all ideas were suggestions though, some were my own. I found this out a while ago, but Wall Chicken actually gives two triggers to rabbits and seals, and I mentioned this to Scooty on his stream and apparently it was worth being featured in his Baku build. One thing I wanted to see more than anything else is how level 3 versions of Cuddle Toad toys worked. Cuddle Toad is a unique toy pet, as level ups give it extra turns instead of higher levels. However, using Chameleon, we can see how they work at a higher level. What I expected was for all abilities to repeat three more times, but that's not what happened. Instead, the Broom only hit two pets with weakness, the Wand only hit two with experience, and the Crystal Ball only went off twice. Upon close inspection, though, the Wand actually gave one of my pets three experience instead of one, and the Crystal Ball gave plus three and plus one mana. This means the only one that didn't actually have a level 3 distinction was the broom. Finally, someone asked about turning Moby Dick into a rock in order to stop it from disappearing at the start of battle, but Rev beat me to it, so go watch his video on it. You can suggest these and help me test them on my Discord and be featured in the next Sap Science if you have any ideas you want tested. Thanks for 400 subscribers and have a great day!